have you ever thought about this? Septem in Latin, or sept in Sanskrit, means seven, but September is the ninth month in our calendar. Octo correlates to eight, but October isn't the eighth month, it's the tenth month. And it's the same with November. Novem in Latin, or nova in Sanskrit, means nine, but November is the eleventh month. And of course, decem is ten, but December is the last and twelfth month. So, have the months of the year been misplaced? And if so, why? Well, let's look into this. I am Akash Rakoti, and a hearty welcome to my YouTube channel. Make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon for more interesting videos just like this. Alright, so the word month originated from the word moon. In the old days, months were entirely based off of the moon, and one month is now roughly the time it takes to complete one natural orbital period of the moon around the Earth. Now, the modern English calendar that we use today is called the Gregorian calendar and has 12 months. But this calendar was derived from the ancient Roman calendar, which has 10 months and an unaccounted 50 or so winter days in a year. So how did this happen, and why did it start off with just 10 months? Well, the 10-month calendar was officially adopted by the legendary first king of Rome, Romulus, and the first of those months was March. Yep, that's right, March was actually the original first year of the original Roman calendar. March, or Martius in Latin, was named after the Roman ancestral god of war, which is Mars. And this is the first month of the old Roman calendar, because farming resumes during this month. It's a generally good time for the military to begin a campaign. And anyways, it's just the right time to celebrate New Year's festivities. So that's why March was celebrated as the first month of the year. Next up was April, or Aprilis in Latin, which was named after the Latin word aperire, which means to open. And, you know, spring starts in this month, and people will go outside because, you know, the temperatures are milder, and the flowers will start to bloom, or open. Hence, the Latin word for open, operire, so that's why we call it April. Next up is May, or Maya, which is named after, well, again, it's still Maya, who is a Greek goddess and the mother of Mercury, the god of commerce. But Given that the name Maya is from Greek mythology, why was it taken up by the Romans? Well, that's because Maya's Roman equivalent was Bona Dea, the goddess of fertility, and this goddess's festival was celebrated in May. And so that's why they chose Maya as the name, which becomes May in English. Next up was June, or Junius, which was the fourth month of the year. And June was named after Juno, another goddess who protects the state and was the wife of Jupiter. And that's why we call it June. So you can see this practice of naming it after the ancient Roman gods. But July is where things start to change, because July, or Quintilis, was the fifth month. And it's here that all the months afterwards were named after numbers. Like, Quintilis means fifth in Latin, and Quintilis mensis means fifth month. And you know what? At that time, July was the fifth month. But in the year 45 BC, Julius Caesar instituted a new calendar called the Julian calendar after, well, Julius Caesar. And this corrected all the astronomical discrepancies in the old calendar. So, to honor Julius Caesar's work, after his death in 44 BC, the month of Quintilis, which is Caesar's birth month, was renamed Julius in his honor. Hence, Quintilis became July in English by way of Julius. Next up is August, or Sextilis, which is the sixth month. In Latin, Sextilis means sixth, so that's why the sixth month was called Sextilis. And the thing is, in the 8th century BC, Sextilis was renamed for the first Roman Emperor, Augustus Caesar. And so in English, we call this month August. 
Now we come to the main topic. September, October, November, and December. And these all retain their original number-based names. They weren't named after ancient Roman gods or rulers of the Roman people. But actually, these are named because these months were the 7th, 8th, 9th, and 10th months in the 10-month series. So here, septem means seven in Latin, and that's why September was named as the seventh month. Octo in Latin means eight, so October is the eighth month. Latin novem means nine, that's why November is the ninth month, and decem in Latin means 10, and that's why the 10th month of that time was called December. So these were the original 10 months of the Roman calendar, but the current calendar has two months added before March, right? So who added these two months? Why are January and February here? Well, it was probably because of the legendary second king of Rome after Romulus named Numa Pompilius. He added the two months, Januarius and Februarius, at the end of the calendar in order to align the year with the sun and also to fill up those 50 or so odd days, which are basically winter days that went unaccounted for. But the thing is, somehow later, these months meant to fill up space were pushed to the beginning of the year before March. It was in the 16th century when Pope Gregory XIII introduced his Gregorian calendar to accommodate the leap years, with which it became almost completely flawless. And the current English calendar that we are all using today is the Gregorian calendar. So now, let's visit the first two months of the modern day calendar. January is the first month, which is Januarius in Latin. It came from the name of the Roman god Janus, the two-faced god of doors. The two faces of Janus look in opposite directions. So one is looking into the past and the other is looking into the future. And so January is the first of the 12 months of the year because it bridges between the previous year and the current year. And I think that is a great name, given his status in the Roman culture. Now let's take a look at the second month, which is February. And this is Februarius in Latin, which derives from the Latin word februum, referring to the means of ritual purification during the Roman Empire's festival of forgiveness. And here you'd see that citizens would be purified of their sins. And this festival of forgiveness occurs during this time of year, during February. So that's why February served as a sort of purification month. And that's why we call them January and February. As January and February became the first two months of the year, all of the months starting from March were pushed down two spots. So September became the ninth month, October became the 10th month, November became the 11th month, and December became the 12th month. So in fact, the months of the year have not been misplaced, rather they have been displaced. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you like my videos, then make sure to subscribe and don't forget to hit the bell icon so you don't miss a new video every time I upload. Once again, thanks so much for watching. Love you. Akash.